Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS selects new leadership for small business and self-employed division. Uh-oh, that's always a little scary. New leadership often feeling the need to prove themselves by cracking a few small business and self-employed people's skulls. Metaphorically speaking. Just like that mean old principal in the breakfast club. I don't want to hear any noise or see any profits going on in here. And if I do, the next time I have to come in, I'm cracking skulls. What's the breakfast club? Ah, never mind. IR 2022-95, April 27, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today announced that experienced agency executive Leah Colbert. Is that you, Colbert? I don't know Leah Colbert. I'm sure she's diligent and experienced for the job, or I would assume so. Uh, Leah Colbert has been named the new commissioner of the Small Business Self-Employed Division, the SB-SE, which oversees the agency's collection activities and the examinations of most businesses in the United States. Quote, this is a crucial position for the IRS and Leah's background provides a unique perspective for this important role, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, this area is critical to ensuring fair enforcement of our nation's tax laws while respecting taxpayers' rights. In addition, this area is a key place for the agency to find ways to improve the taxpayer experience, not just for individuals who interact with this area, but also for tax professionals that handle enforcement-related issues." End quote. The IRS also announced that Amaha Williams has been selected to act as the Deputy Commissioner SB-SE examination to fill in for Day Lone Harris, who is retired at the end of April. Darren Gollett uh, will continue to serve as Deputy Commissioner SB-SE collection and operations support. So I must admit that I don't know anything about these individuals, their experience or background. Might be interesting to dig into that a, a bit more here. But in any case, Colbert replaces Eric Hilton, who was SB-SE commissioner when he left the agency about a year ago. Harris and Gallant served as interim co-commissioners during that time. In her new role, Colbert will be responsible for providing executive leadership and direction to a nationwide staff of approximately 20 million employees. These employees are responsible for the design, development, and delivery of a comprehensive tax administration program. This program touches more than 57 million small business owners and self-employed taxpayers with business interests having less than 10 million in assets. So <laughs> I hope she's good. I hope she's taking care of those small businesses and whatnot. Furthermore, Colbert and the SB-SE deputy commissioners will work closely with employees, managers, and executives across the division to review current operations and strategize improvement opportunities by looking deeply into exper uh, experiences faced by nation's taxpayers and IRS employees in this ever-changing pandemic environment. Williams will be responsible for providing executive expertise and direction for special projects covering major sections of SB-SE, uh, including campus exam, automated under the reporter AUR, field exam, specialty exam, headquarters exam, and exam performance and planning analysis. She will also oversee the Office of Promoter Investigations, the OPI, which provides support for all IRS efforts in identifying abusive tax transactions, tax schemes, and emerging abusive arrangements. Colbert's most recent role at the IRS was Deputy Chief Appeals. Prior to that, she was IRS Chief of Staff and Executive Lead of the team that drafted the Taxpayer First Act report to Congress. Uh, she, she, I think I, we went over that report. It, would, it actually had some good, some good stuff in it to improve uh, the workings of the IRS, I believe, if I'm remembering that particular report uh, correctly. So that, that's a good sign. She also has uh, held several senior leadership and executive roles within appeals and the Human Capital Office. She started her career at the IRS as a revenue officer before becoming a settlement officer in appeals. Quote, Leah is a strong leader with an excellent taxpayer uh, experience perspective, a proven track record of working well with internal and external partners, and deep uh, people development skills, end quote, said IRS Deputy Commissioner Services and Enforcement Douglas O'Donnell. Quote, 
uh, we are moving forward to implement the vision outlined in the Taxpayer First Act report to Congress, and Leo will be a strong addition to the services and enforcement leadership team in that effort. The IRS, uh, the IRS will be well served with Leah, Maha, and Darren in these pivotal roles, end quote. Maha began her career as a revenue agent in Tampa in 2001. She has held various management positions in SB-SE, including Deputy Director Examination, Director Field and Campus Policy, and Director Case Selection. She is a 2018 graduate of the, of the uh, Candidate Development Program, earned her bachelor's degree in accounting from the State University of New York at Pittsburgh, and is a certified public accountant. So interesting developments over there at uh, at the IRS, uh, mixing things up, changing things up, new roles happening. Hopefully these people aren't going to go in there and try to prove themselves by cracking small business and self-employed people's skulls too much, but we'll see. And uh, I don't think there's any links here, but there'll be a link to this in the description anyways if you want to check it out more.